Hello, welcome to the first video of our MDCN series. My name is Dr. Maria, and in this series as a whole, I'll be walking you through the necessary steps and the necessary things you need to know in order to make passing the MDCN examination a breeze. But before we begin, please take a moment to like this video and subscribe as it will really help out the channel. <music> So as a general rule for examinations, we need to follow some necessary steps. The first step is to always greet our patient. After that, we can remember the next steps through the mnemonic WIPER, which is W-I-P-E-R. W standing for washing our hands. You must seem to be washing your hands. If you go into the exam and you have a hand sanitizer or soap there, you need to ask to use it. After washing our hands, the next is our I, which is to introduce ourselves to the patient and seek consent for what we're about to do. Next is to position our patient and for most physical examinations we do that in the semi-recumbent position which is 45 degrees. There are some exceptions however like for GI but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Next on our list is the E and that is to properly expose our patient depending on the type of examination that we're going to do. But you need to be careful here because you always need to screen your patient before you expose to give patients their privacy. Also it might be important to know that at this point you might want to request the presence of a chaperone. The last is R which stands for right side. This is probably the most important. For all examinations in medicine, you need to be by the patient's right side. Even if the bed on the right is close to the wall, you need to request the examiner to move the bed to allow you access to the right side of the patient. Physical examination as a whole tends to follow the rule of IPPA, which stands for inspection, palpation, percussion and auscultation. Although in some examinations you may need to do all the steps, in some examinations you don't need to do all the steps. For example, in general physical examination, we will only be inspecting and palpating, will not be percussing or auscultating. So after greeting your patient and doing your wiper, you can now begin your examination. 